Hello friends, this video on metals and non-metals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 7. Can you store lemon pickle in an aluminium utensil? Not really because what is lemon pickle? Now lemon pickle will contain acid. In fact, lemon contains citric acid. Now this acid will react with aluminium. We know that acid reacts with aluminium to release hydrogen gas. So now this hydrogen gas that is getting released might spoil the pickle. Therefore, it is not advisable to store lemon pickle in an aluminium utensil. Question number 8. Match items in column 1 with column 2. So here you have the various items. So let us see which matches which one. Gold. Gold is used for making jewelry. So gold will match with D. Iron. Iron is used for machinery. Yes, because iron is rough and tough, quite solid and hard. So it is used for making machinery. Aluminium for wrapping food because it doesn't react with food and also it is malleable so it can be uh, beaten into thin sheets. Carbon. Carbon is used as a fuel. So coal is an excellent fuel and coal is made up of carbon. Copper. Copper are used in electric wires. They are good conductors of electricity. Mercury. Mercury is the only metal which is liquid and it is present in thermometers. Question number 9. What happens when dilute sulfuric acid is poured on a copper plate? So let us see. What do we do? Dilute sulfuric acid on a copper plate. So copper has to react with dilute sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Now in this case what will happen? So you see it is basically copper reacting with a salt solution of this one hydrogen or you can say sulfuric acid copper is a metal is reacting with acid now whenever a metal reacts with acid what happens this is a metal this is an acid what happens hydrogen gas is released and a salt is formed so what is that salt here that is CuSO4 so copper sulfate will be formed and hydrogen gas will be released iron nails are placed in copper sulfate solution so in that case this is iron iron has to react with copper sulfate so this copper sulfate which is blue in color it is an aqueous solution now since iron is more reactive than copper so iron will replace copper and it will form iron sulfate solution plus copper and this iron sulfate is kind of reddish in color and as a result what will happen is the blue color of the copper sulfate solution will start fading due to the formation of iron sulfate. So we have already written the word equations for the same. Question number 10. Salone took a piece of burning charcoal and collected the gas evolved in a test tube. So what did she do? Charcoal contains what? It contains nothing but carbon. So she burned carbon. That means carbon reacted with oxygen. So what will form? It will form carbon dioxide. So she has collected this carbon dioxide in a test tube. How will she find the nature of the gas? Now she wants to know whether this gas is acidic in nature or this, as, or this gas is basic in nature. So how will she do it? You remember the litmus test? Yes. So for the litmus test, what do you need? You need a solution. How do you prepare the solution? You mix this carbon dioxide gas with water. So it forms H2CO3. Now in this solution, you put the litmus and what do you find? You find that the blue litmus turns red. And what does that prove? That proves that this is an acid. And which acid is this? This is nothing but carbonic acid acid. So this proves that it is acidic in nature. So this is how she will find out. Write down the word e equations of all the reactions taking place in the process. So I think we have already done that. Question number 11. One day Rita went to a jeweler's shop with her mother. Her mother gave old gold jewelry to the goldsmith to polish. 
Next day when they bought the jewellery back, they found that there was a slight loss in weight. Can you suggest a reason for the loss in weight? Now as I told you before also, how do we polish gold? So in order to polish gold, basically what we need to do is we need to just dissolve a very thin layer of gold. Now once the topmost layer is gone, the below layer is definitely going to be shiny and that's how the gold gets polished. So what do we use for that? For that purpose we use the acid aqua regia which is a combination of which is which is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated hydrochloric acid. So when gold is dipped in this acid one layer is gone. Now that means we are actually losing some amount of gold. So therefore when you weigh it again it, there is a slight loss in weight. So upper layer of gold dissolves, it goes away and therefore the weight is reduced. So and that is why uh, people, it is not advisable to get your jewelries polished over and again unless and until it is really not necessary because every time you are giving it for a polish, you are actually losing some amount of gold and gold is quite expensive metal. So we really do not want to lose so much of gold. So that's why only when it becomes too old, it should be given for polish. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on metals and non-metals would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.